In this video, we'll be going over linked list cycle. So given head, the head of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. So in our first example, we're giving this list 3, 2, 0, and negative 4. And then we can see that after negative 4, we go back to a node that we have visited before, which is at 2. So this means we have a cycle here. So we return true. Let's go over the dot process. So we will be implementing Floyd's cycle detection algorithm. So the concept is we have two pointers, fast and slow. The fast pointer moves forward once two step at a time. And then the slow pointer moves forward one step at a time. Since the fast pointer is always faster than the slow pointer, if the slow pointer ever catches up to the fast pointer, we have found a cycle. Now a side case we may consider is, does the fast pointer ever skip over the slow pointer? So if the fast pointer skips over the slow pointer at, at position i, this means the next position of the so this means the fast the fast pointer will be at position i plus 1, and then the slow pointer will be at position i. This means the slow and the fast pointer must have met at position i minus 1 instead. So if we go back to the previous step, this means the fast pointer will have meet up with the slow pointer, so this means there is a cycle. So it will never ever skip over the slow pointer if there's a cycle. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create two variables. So the first one is slow, which will be our slow pointer initially at the input head. So initially at the starting position on the list, and we also have our fast, the fast pointer, which will also be initially at the starting position. So while fast and fast.next is not null. This is because we are moving fast, uh, the fast pointer, two steps at a time. We do not want to get a null pointer exception. So we need to keep track. We need to handle this case. So we're going to set slow to slow.next, moving slow uh, forward one step, and then moving fast to fast.next.next. .next. This means moving fast two steps at a time. So if slow is equal to fast, this means the slow pointer has catch up to the fast pointer. We have, so we have found a cycle. So we can return true. If if there's no cycle, this means we will break out this loop. So we can just return false. So let's go over the time and space complexity. So for the time complexity, we get O of n divided by 2. So it's go to O of n, where n is the number of elements or number of nodes in the input list. Is n over 2 because our fast pointer moves forward two steps at a time. So worst case scenario, worst case scenario, we go do the list. Actually, it's actually going to be O of n because what if this is a cycle? If this O of cycle, it takes O of n times for the slow pointer to catch up to the fast pointer. So we can just say we visit each node once with slow pointer, worst case. And our space complexity is all of one because we did not create any extra space to hold our nodes. Let's go over the pseudocode, I mean the code. So we're gonna create two variables, our fast and our slow. So slow is go to head and our fast is also go to head. Both both of them initially will be our start in the initial starting position. So while fast is not good to know and fast.next is not good to know, we want to move forward slow one step 
and fast forward two steps. If slow is equal to fast, this means the slow pointer has catch up to the fast pointer and we have found a cycle, so we can return true. If after, after the loop, if we have failed to find a cycle, we can just return false. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below.